Good morning, everybody. So we're back today with a super fun deck profile for you. Um, what I got here is something that you will probably never see in the meta, and if you get caught off guard by this, you are very likely to lose. And uh, it's very easy to get caught off guard by it, because it's, uh, it's super out of the ordinary. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of combos, a lot of fun things going on about this deck, so let's just go ahead and get right into it. This is going to be my Mastamon Leopardmon yellow, yellow deck. So starting off with the uh, Digitama, we got four Upamon, which is the new best Digitama in the game. Um, Upamon just continues to be just an amazing card. It, first it was the best Digitama in blue, and it got greedy, and now it's the best, best Digitama in yellow as well. So here it is. Let's you draw more cards, and you're always going to be at like three or less security in this deck, so that's never an issue. And then we do need five Digi Eggs in this deck because we will be using a Raising Phase quite a bit. Um, so Tokomon is by default the next best option we can play because we're never going to be at five security so Cupimon won't work and uh, we do lower power sometimes so it's it's just a fifth egg. We'll replace it when set four comes out. On to the level threes. There's quite a few of them. We start off with two Lotmon. This card gives heart and soul to yellow decks nowadays like the strat against yellow was to leave them at four security and then finish them off after building up a wide board. And uh, this makes it so that yellow can play around that. You can put yourself to three security and get two free cards in your hand. So Lotmon is amazing. I don't think I need four of it in this deck because of, it's a Mastamon deck. So you're going to be trashing your own security a lot anyway. So Lotmon is good but I don't think more than two is necessary. So we have two copies of the promo Patamon. Again, you're going to be at low security a lot, and it's Leopardmon and Mastamon. Both of those cards have effects to pull out level threes and level fours. So pulling this card out for free and giving yourself an extra recovery, and then, you know, with Leopardmon giving it jamming is quite hilarious. Um, absolutely love this card. Next, we have four Salomon. This is one of the best level threes that we got access to in set 1.5. The fact that you can just swing at your opponent's security with this, draw a card off of this Upamon, and then gain a or gain a or recovery back and gain another security in the process is just amazing. So you don't really want to evolve on this that often, but you know you can if you need to because it's, you know, zero cost to play in the raising area, so you can use it to start building up your chains. But this is a card you kind of want to be swinging with, and this deck is basically champion rush, um, but you build up into megas. So getting on to the rest of the list, we have one of the regular Salomon and four Sukaimon, giving us a total of five two-cost vanillas. Wish I could play more, but the other vanillas in, or the other rookies in yellow are very important. The last level three that we're playing is going to be four copies of Tinkermon. Now this card is absolute trash, but you can play it for free off of Petermon, and you can play Petermon for free off of Leopardmon and Mastamon. So I want you to imagine a situation, right, where you have this Petermon, you evolved it into a Shakuamon, you evolved that Shakuamon into a Leopard, because Shakuamon is always blue. You pull this out of your source, you pull this out, you now have a Leopardmon, a Petermon, and a Tinkermon, and both of these have jamming. So that's why I'm playing four of this card, even though it's absolute garbage. Um, we have four of that. Let's see, five, so that's nine, 13. Uh, 17 level threes in this deck, which is a lot. It's, it's, it's a whole lot, but, you know, it keeps the deck flowing smoothly, so I like it. We, on to the level 4s, we got 3 Peter and 1 Gatomon as the cards that you want to play off of your Leopardmon and uh, Mastamon most often. Gatomon will let you delete some or lower something by 4,000 since you will have the Mastamon out whenever you're playing it off of Mastamon's effect. And it has another effect too that says whenever any of your other Digimon gets deleted, this thing gets plus 3,000. And that is not a once per turn, 
So if you are swinging out with your born and you don't, let's say you went up into the Mastamon and, and you didn't have the Leopardmon, you know, and you're swinging with everything and everything's dying against security, this card is going to get beefy real quick. So that's something to keep in mind. These cards are great. I don't think this card is good enough to justify playing more than two of. And in my testing, I like it at one. Rounding off the level fours, we got four copies of Unimon because this deck needs blockers and four copies of Tururimon, you know, the bunny with the knuckles. So good card to evolve into, high power. And, you know, you can pull both of these out with Leopardmon and Mastamon as well. So great cards. On to the level fives. We have four Shakuamon. This card is absolutely amazing. It's treated as a blue Digimon, so you can evolve it into blue Digimon, and you can play blue options while this is on the field, which is nuts. And it just has this anti-rookie rush effect where you're just, where while it's on the field, anything that doesn't have sources gets minus one security attack. So you're playing like a rookie rush style deck, and the ability to just shut out the mirror match is hilarious. You can just evolve into this and just be like, come at me. Oh wait, you can't. And it's absolutely fun. So I do really like Shakuamon just for the versatility that it provides this deck and just the ease of access, because you this can evolve into every level six that we have in the deck. We play three Anjuwamon. So this card is absolutely amazing. Um, you're going to be at Again, you're going to be at three or fewer security a lot, so its inheritable effect will let you just play level threes from your hand whenever you attack, since, you know, that's what it does. Uh, just if you attack and you have three or less security, you just play a level three, and it's it's nuts. So you you can, like, evolve this into the Mastmon, get the Mastmon effect to pull something, or pull out the Petermon, pull out the Tinkermon, and then swing, and then use this effect to pull out something else. And all of a sudden, you evolved one time, and you have four bodies on the board. Um, and it's it's absolutely amazing. This also has another generic windage evolving effect that just gives something security attack minus two, which really helps out against a lot of matchups, like, uh, like purple or green or anything that builds up into big bodies. This card can help slow down. So this Shikuamon helps slow down Rookie Rush. This slows down everything else, and all in all, your level 5 lineup is just putting on control, while your level 4 and your level 3 lineup is putting on aggression. The last level 5 in the deck is Chimeramon. Um, I can evolve this into Mastamon, so it's super funny. And this just provides another element of control. You're going to be putting, like I said earlier, you're putting so many units on the board that getting rid of one of them doesn't really matter. And you can like sacrifice a Salomon with this and recover the, because Salomon has, a, or Salomon's effect is on deletion. So absolutely love Chimeramon in this list. But I don't think I'd play more than one of it unless I unless I put in a fourth copy of Mastamon. Because right now I'm only playing three. I like it at three. Uh, I want to try four. I really do, but I need to pick myself up a fourth one. But this is an absolute amazing card. Just the effect, the fact that it can trash security whenever you evolve into it, and you combine that with the fact that you're already putting so many bodies on the board that you can swing with, it's just, it makes the game state play so much faster. So, and the fact that you can just trash a, trash your own security, you know, pull out Patamon and recover it, or pull out the Unimon and get a blocker, or pull out the Gatomon and destroy something, um, or pull out the Petermon and just go wide. This is absolutely amazing, and I love Mastamon, and I'm very excited to see the level of play that, like, top players will, like, take whenever they're playing this card, because, like, that's something that 1.5 does a lot, or, or does a lot for for this game. Because like with cards like Shakuamon that have the split split evolutions and cards like Mastamon, this opens this game up so much for different avenues of deck building. And that's what I was super excited for coming in this set. This set is amazing for that and that alone. So we have these three that play units whenever you evolve into them. 
and you have these two that play units whenever you evolve into them. Love double leopard mod in this list. So you, I already said you're going super wide. Now everything that has that's going super wide has jamming, and this card lets you go wider. So you have five cards in your deck that just like your level fives stall your opponent until you get your level six, and your level sixes put your opponent on a timer because they give you more units. It's the the balance in this deck is really insane, and it's like you're only going to be fighting the colors because it is a little inconsistent just because you have the multiple colors clashing a little bit like leopard mon isn't good unless you can draw the shakua mon but you're playing for shakua mon you're playing a lot of draw you're digging through your deck a lot it's it's not it's not as inconsistent as it would appear and you are going to get some very very powerful ceilings with this deck whenever you're swinging out the uh the last level six we're playing in the deck is kentaurus mon it's a good card it's not my favorite card, which is why it's only a one of, but it does give a blanket like security attack minus two to basically your opponent's entire board. So this is another one of those cards that you swing out and you need maybe you're maybe like one damage short of game. You evolve into this and then you have another turn to swing out. So plus the fact that it can kill something whenever it goes down by giving something minus level one thousand is always good. Um I kind of trashed on this card whenever 1.0 was coming to the states, but uh, now that I've play tested it, I uh, I've since changed my tune. It's 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 definitely a good card. It's just not. I don't think it fits the purpose of the deck as well as Leopard Mon or Mastamon. So on to the options and the tamers. We got one copy of Kaiser Nail. So I want you to imagine a situation, right, where you evolved your Shakuamon into a Leopard Mon, and then you Kaiser Nail the Shakuamon back out. Or you Kaiser Nail a Petermon out from under a Leopardmon. Or uh, this gets hit in security and you can Kaiser Nail any of your cards out from under your sources for any of your other dudes. This card is amazing in this deck. It's just a one of because you're going to be holding it a lot of the time and waiting for the right time to use it. But it is a good card. I do really like it. I wouldn't bump it up. Uh, same goes with Hammer Spark, actually. This is really nice because when you have the Shakuamon in play, you can use Hammer Spark and go up to four memory and then either evolve into Mastamon or Leopardmon and it still stays your turn. But uh, again, you need the Shakuamon or the Leopardmon to have this work. So one of is fine. The last two options are going to be two copies of Eden's Javelin. Uh, bless this card. This is a... This is Yellow's best new removal. Uh, and it lets you draw. It's a great card. If you're yellow, if you're a yellow player, you should be playing at least one. Unless you're playing Shine Greymon, then you have Glorious Burst. Hello, Dimitri. Well, that's on the board now, but we only have uh, three tamers left. We have one copy of Kari. Which, since you're playing at less than three security a lot of the time, Kari puts in a lot of work. So, it's it's a good card. I just don't know how many, uh, I don't know if I'd ever bump it up. And then the last two of in the deck is going to be TK. TK is great. Absolutely love TK. <laughs> so does my cat. Um, but yeah, TK is like one of the best tamers in yellow and, or one of the best tamers in the game. And, uh, if you think otherwise, you probably haven't play tested it at all because just the fact that it lets you add anything from your security and it lets you know what your security is for the rest of the game after you activate it is astounding. So you can know if you can afford to let attacks go through, you can kind of bank on what's going to be there. And, uh, yeah, it just lets you play the game with more information. And more information means higher chance of success. But, yeah, that is uh, mine and Dimitri's yellow, blue, Leopardmon, Mastamon deck. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, make sure you guys comment on the video. Let me know what you guys thought and like and subscribe and all that jazz. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye, everybody.